I'm gonna be lucky long time, yeah, long time. Ah, I'm gonna be lucky long time. My done coming back to another video. This is the first time you see my face on the screen. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button, smash the like button, turn on notification on so you miss any of posts, and that's how you be part of Diamond Squad. So I decided to film this video in part of in front of the window since I recorded the other two um not in front of the window so y'all can like actually see the shadows and all the other thing all the other stuff. So yeah. But anyways, um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place F F Greek F Greek F Greek. I don't know if they're Well, the palette and the lippy, basically. Um, I always wanted these, especially when this one came out. But yeah, I finally have it now. But yeah. Anyways, um, here is the palette. Here's the ingredients, it has talking mica in it, it's cruelty free, and here it is, so it's more like a colorful palette, I really like that gold shade, I don't know what look I'm going to create with this, I'm probably not going to create such a bold, colorful look, I'm probably just going to create like a simple natural look using the browns and the golds. Cause honestly today I don't I don't feel like doing like a really bold look with this especially cause the lippy is red so yeah the lippy is red so I want to create a look that's gonna go with the red lipstick so let me just swatch a few shades so ooh that blue I don't know blue is like my first favorite color and then after that is pink look at that look at but let's wash the green. That green though. That green though. Oh, pretty. Um, let me see what else I'm gonna swatch. Let's wash the gold too. Because that's the one I'm gonna be using. Very pretty. And let me do that. And I'm gonna swatch the silver. Very nice. And I'm going to swatch dodge. I might put swatches of this palette um on my Instagram page. But usually I don't like to do that with old older palettes. I usually do that with newer palettes. But I'm gonna just take this off real quick and be right back. When I'm time back, I'm gonna be starting the eye look. So like I said, I just want to create a simple natural look with this palette. So I like the fact that this palette, you can choose to do a colorful look or you can choose to do a simple, um, a simple natural look. So I did want to have to use this shade first, which this shade is very, very pigmented. I thought it was going to be like lighter, but it's pigmented. Then I use, well I use this on my base and then I use this on my crease. Use this on my outer corners and then put this in my, um, all over my lips. So, yeah, these colors perform, the shades perform really nicely. This is like a really pretty green, like, create a green look. But, like, if I were to create a bold look, I'll be using these four colors right here to create that bold look. But, I, w I don't know how I want to do it yet, but, yeah. I really like the palette. The palette is really, really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to put this back in the box and then try the lippy. So. Okay. So, here is the lippy. And just take it out like there. So this is more of a red. This is a matte liquid lipstick. So here it is. 
there it is. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Once again with these, you don't have to dip back into the tube because it has a lot of product on there once you uh, take it out. So. And I believe these dry on your lip. Yeah, because I had tried the other matte liquid, the matte liquid lipstick from them in the other video. So these do dry, so it's probably most likely going to leave a stain on my lips. But it is a nice red. I have quite a bit of red shade. And I like the color. I like the red lipstick in me, so. Yeah. So that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, I like the matte lipstick. I just hate the fact that they stay in your lips. Kind of annoying, but um, definitely love these two. The palette is really nice nice and pigmented there's a little bit of fallout in the palette though if you dip your brush too much in there because i like to really dig my brush in there to get a lot of product on my brush and that's why i have a lot of fallout but if you're not the per if you're not the type of person that digs your brush in there like that you just dig your brush you just put your brush in there gently you don't have as much fallout but yeah so this is the look I feel like this eyeshadow goes perfect with red lips and I feel like this product goes well with red lips and ooh, I'm really digging this red gloss. I mean this red lipstick. Wow. I am liking. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this makeup look. I, I'm really digging it. It's like a nice natural look so I really like it. Nice everyday look. Except for the lips. The lipstick is not like everyday wear but the eyeshadow is everyday wear. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new, click the notification if you haven't. Always look in the description box guys. Check the description boxes, my description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.